Okay, thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Um, a viewer asked me to take a look at BP stock, so I figured I'd make a video uh, doing just that. First of all, let me just preface all this to say that I do not believe that this is a tradable security at this time. The fundamental reason I believe that it's not a tradable security at this time is simply because there is too much unknown information coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. We do not truly understand the extent of BP's liabilities. We don't know the end result outcome of the situation in the Gulf. And this is due mainly in part to the media blackout that is going on down there and the pseudo martial law scenario. Um, you can do a, a, a search on the internet for that or if you don't have time to do that just simply go to wideawakenews.com and all the links and articles all the information you need to know is right there there have been documentary videos done about it there's just so much going on I'm not the purpose of this video is not to get into that or to get into any of the speculation you know me I'm just gonna stick to the technicals alright so let, let's jump right into it okay first of all you can see without me going on through anything if you've been following the videos for any length of time it's obvious to you that this market is in a down trending market as you can see this is red and we have the word bearish so it's a bear market okay as far as trending at the moment we have right here in the lower right hand corner a question mark that means that we are consolidated within the bearish Kumo cloud. That's this right here. Okay. If we go back a little ways, we can see that as far as what we come in price, you can see that the market's been in a downturn for a while. This is May. This is April. Going back to these daily bars here. Um, on this fateful day, this was uh, April the 29th. So. The market has been, uh, this stock has been, you know, selling off up and down for a while. Look at this. Look at this collapse from this high of January the 19th all the way down here. So the market's been in the process of coming down after a nice bull run here, as you can see, from the 30s. And like I said, that, that's, a, that's a nice run um, coming, coming from, from that that ways and um, so really technically speaking we, we topped out at the $62 level and we haven't looked back okay you can see what the system gave all types of sell signals here's one on April the 15th here's another one on April the 26th and here's another one on April the 27th and another one on April the 29th and another one on May the 6th uh, and here's another one on June the 1st and here's another one on June the 24th and then we hit support around June the 24th came up system gave a buy signal on July the 8th then we had subsequent uh, warning sell signals on the 14th and another sell signal on July the 16th and we've been having nothing but short signals since then now we're in the clouds so we got nothing but the bottom line is as you can see there's, there's nothing going on here if you're long the stock you should have been out you should have been sold it all right let's get into the technicals based on yesterday's close based on Monday's close the the stock uh, closed up a dollar and seventy nine cents, up four point eight six percent. Prices closed higher than they opened with strong bids going into the close. As for market sentiment, the pulse scan reading is eighteen point two one. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above the zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX, creating an uptrend channel as of Monday. This means that positive momentum has entered the market. So we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. 
the last signal was an overbought sell five periods ago which I showed you here and since the last swing VIX signal uh, BP's price has been unchanged and has ranged from a high of $39 to a low of $37.74 alright taking a look at momentum currently the trend is neutral within the bearish Kumo consolidation cloud which is right here this is what I showed you and that means we have a possible trend reversal with upside bullish breakout risk a close below $35.78 is needed to reestablish the downward trend. However, a close above $44.99 will establish a new upward trend. As far as trend strength, there is currently no trend strength reading at this time because this stock is not trending. We call this wood. It's dead. There's nothing going on, nothing to see here. As for trend line retracements, we are currently below the long-term trend line retracement of $44.56. The close is currently also below the intermediate term trend line retracement of $38.71. However, the close is currently above the short-term trend line retracement of $36.32. So the, the stock did manage to, to break out above the first resistance of 36.32. Now the next resistance will be 38.71, and then of course the key resistance is 44.56. Need to close above that. Now weekly price projections for the stock are as follows: resistance is 39 dollars and 81 cents, and support 34 dollars and 58 cents. We pretty much expect their stock to trade within that range for the rest of the week. All right. As for volatility. Uh, BP closed below the upper volatility band by 17.8%. This combined with the steep uptrend suggested that upward trend in prices has a good chance of continuing. However, a short-term pullback inside the bands is likely. And as I mentioned earlier, this stock is not in play at this time. There are no buy or sell system generated signals. That's all I have on BP.